Andarki Namaskaram Lu. Today is another good day for all of us. We are at the fag end of the three months Sanatana Dharma course. And uh, this is the last week we are on. Uh, we are on yoga. Uh, last but one day of uh, yoga teaching. Uh, no, we, we will start with Vande Mataram and then Prarthana. After that, we will request our Guruji, Prabhu Garu, to uh, start the session. Today, I think we will have uh, more, no, more meaningful uh, uh, knowledge about our Prarthana. That means, you know, he's going to explain what is the meaning of uh, the Prarthana we do every day. That's what he has given in the, um, in the group. Okay, now, now let us request our uh, um, Challa Chittibabu Garu to recite Vande Mataram. Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Sujalam Sufalam Malaya Jasitalam Sasya Syamalam Mataram Vande Mataram Suprajosna Pulakitaya Mini Pullakusumita Drumadala Sobhini Suhasini Sumadhura Bhashini Sukhadam Varadam Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Dhanavadam Landi, Challa Chitipabhagaru. Now, uh, let us request uh, Satya Badri Rajagaru to chant Prarthana, please. Namaskaram. Let's do meditation for a minute. Oh, 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 Gana na antwa, Gana patigum hava mahe, Kavim kavina mupamasra vastamam, Jeshtarajam brahmana, Brahmana spata anas trunvan nuti pissi the sadhanam, Om Sri Maha Ganavati pataye namaha. Om Prano Devi Saraswati. Vaje bir vajini vati dhina mavitriya vatu om shri mahasaraswatyai namaha 
ಗುರುರೇವ ಗತಿ ಗುರು ಮೇವ ಭಜೆ ಗುರುಣೈವ ಸಹಾಸ್ಮಿ ನಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮ ಶಿಶುರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಮ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಶ್ಚೋ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾರು ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪ್ Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, very clear. Video is also very good. Okay, today is a very holy day, which is the birthday of Adi Shankaracharya. And uh, today we will be covering some of uh, yoga, subject related to Adi Shankaracharya. He wrote a book, only one book on yoga and all other books are on Vedanta. So that book on yoga is called Yoga Taravadi and I translated it into English for the first time in the world in 1975. So we will cover that. <coughs> Before that, we will do the usual yoga practice. So all of you, Uh, come to Vajrasana. So, in the Vajrasana, we have many 
asanas as the same Vajrasana I have shown you once. And Vajrasana is practiced throughout the day, anytime you can practice, but not the other asanas. Bending forward is Deshankasana. And bending backwards is Sukta Vajrasana. And we have the Atamat Sendrasanam, keeping the leg on the side. Then we have the Bomukasana. Three times up and down. Then we have the Ustras. This is the entire Vajrasana series. That is Vajrasana, Sushankasana, Sutta Vajrasana, Arthanachendrasana. Same sequence is there in the book. The fact is that. Then, of course, we have the Padmasana series. But some of them are very advanced. Let's skip them. Yoga Mudra. Breathing up, breathing in, come up, breathe out, go down. Matcha. Mudra can be done in this way also. You can just... We have the what is called as the dolas, that is swing. On the hands, you swing your body up and down. Then we have the Parvatas. And then Jivan Mutras on the Parvatas. And go to Shavas.
can touch your leg with your hand. Also, Basically, your whole body will be should be brought under your control fully. Now you can do yoga nidra or shavasana.
Okay, get up slowly. I will teach you uh, three bandhas. I have taught you once previously. Mola Dhara and Udhyana and the Jalanda. Mola Bandha, Jalanda. Jalandar Bandha is done at chest. We have done it many times in Sushma Gayava. Take a deep breath and hold it while pressing the chain to the chest, closing the eyes. Now hold the breath while pressing the chain to the chest. Lift up the hand and breathe out through the nose. Once again, you can do it. Once again. This Jalandhar Bandha. Udyan Bandha is the abdominal exercise. Udara Shakti Vikasa number one. You breathe out and pull in the abdomen and hold it without breath. Then breathe in and bring it forward. Then Puladhara, that is Mola Bandha is to pull up the rectum while holding the breath and then release it after releasing the breath. You can do it in both inhalation or exhalation, but we do it in inhalation. Exhalation. So when you do all the three at the same time, simultaneously, it's called Bhavan. Actually, it has to be done only while breathing out because you can't one. We'll do some pranayama before we go to the theory class. This pranayam has to be done you know, one is to one at present. Take five seconds inhalation, five seconds exhalation, again five seconds. Five seconds. This retention or kumbhakam is uh, not to be practiced during summer. Other times you can practice retention also, same ratio, one is to one is to one. Five seconds inhalation, five seconds retention, five seconds. But in summer, no retention.
Okay, today we will skip meditation session and we'll go into the daily session. So Adi Shankaracharya wrote around 300 books, out of which the most famous are the commentaries authored by Adi Shankaracharya to the Upanishads. And Upanishads, which are called the principal Upanishads. Isha, Kena, Kata, Munda, Kamando, Kaya, 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 He has not written commentaries to the rest of the 108 Upanishads, that is 108 minus 10, 98, but they are also very important. Some of them are more advanced than the principal Upanishads. They are Vedanta Upanishads. Then we also have the Yoga Upanishads, which came later, around 20 of them. Then we have the Shaiva Upanishads, and we have Vaishnava Upanishads, and we have Shakya Upanishads. So all kinds of Upanishads are there. We have studied uh, very few of them in our previous classes. Then in addition to the commentary to Upanishads, Adi Shankaracharya wrote commentary to the Bhagavad Gita, which is very famous. And which is the standard commentary to Bhagavad Gita. And the third in the Prasthana Trai is the Brahma Sutra. So Adi Shankaracharya wrote commentaries to Brahma Sutras, which are the aphorisms written on Vedanta as a summary of the Upanishads by Vadarayana who is usually equated the same as Vyasa. We are not very sure whether both are same or different, but usually we take them as same. So Vyasa was the avatar of Vishnu and Shankaracharya was the avatar of Shiva. So as you know, Shiva and Vishnu, they complement each other, they support each other. So for the Brahma Sutras authored by Vyasa, Adi Shankaracharya wrote the commentary to Brahma Sutras very elaborately. So these three texts, these three sets of texts are single texts. The Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita and Brahma Sutras are called Prasthana Trayi. And Adi Shankaracharya wrote commentaries to all the three. And then he became Jagadguru by defeating the opponents of various schools of thought including Buddhist, Jains, Mimamsakas, Jayakas, Karmish Sankhikas, and so on and so forth. And even the Kapalikas and others, there were 72 different uh, religious denominations in India at that time. And that is around 499 BC is the period ascribed to Adi Shankaracharya, around 500 BC, let us say. Previously, Buddha was given that date, but now Buddha's date is pre to 1900 BC. The uh, Shankara Paramparas in all the Shankaramats, they show the 499 BC as the date. So in addition to these major commentaries of Prasthana Trai, he wrote a large number of Prakana Grandhas like Atla Bodha, Viveka Chuda, Mani, and so on and so forth, which are the individual text establishing the Advaitic experience and Siddhanta through a logical persuasion. Then in addition, he wrote the hundreds of stotras on Shiva, Vishnu, Ganapati, Kartikeya, and so on and so forth. And in addition, he wrote many other texts like Bajagovindam uh, and so on. So the, all these books are Summarized in a series called Shankara Grandharatavadi, published at Tenali in Telugu script with Telugu translation notes given. I'm not sure such a thing exists in English. It will be worthwhile to do it in English. But what I found is a unique text called Yogataravadi. In that series of Shankara Grandharatavadi, published by Sathana Grandha Mandali at Tenali. I was born in Tenali. I used to go there sometimes. So one of those texts is called Yoga Taravali, which I will be covering today as a theory, extra theory subject in homage to Adi Shankaracharya, who is our 
group because for the four yugas there are four gurus so for the kali yuga it is shankracha who is the adi guru though of course many other gurus came after him trying to extend his theory i don't consider them to be in conflict with shankaracharya i consider it is their research extension to theory given by ar shankaracharya only so i consider all the other siddhantas which came after advaita as extensions or research extensions of advaita now this <coughs> sadhana grantha ratnavali next book series as <coughs> this yoga taravadi which is <coughs> vande gurudam charana ravinde sandarshita swatma sukhava bodhe janasraye jangaritaya mane <coughs> संसार संसारिसफरिसंगीड so to overcome this samsara hala hala moha shanti to achieve that shanti the coming down of the poison of delusion of samsara we perform the prostration namaskaram to gurus all our gurus vande gurunam charanaravinde sandarshita swatma sukha avabodhe those who have achieved the atmananda mahatma sukham brahmanandam parama sukham kevalam jnana murti that level of atmanandam vande gurunam charana arvinde sandarshita swatma sukhava bodhe what is the final object of all this it is atma sakshatkaram atma sukham that comes brahmanandam that comes out of atma sakshatkaram for which the advaita siddhanta and ar shankaracharya's works have helped tremendously at the intellectual plane but at the practical yoga plane this text is sada shivokta ni sapada lakshala yavadhana ni vasanti loke nada anusandhana samadhim ekam manyamahe manyatamam layana so what is saying is that sagar shiva shiva gave about 1.25 lakhs of pranayama kumbhaka and uh, higher yoga techniques sada shivokta ni sapada laksha vadhana ni vasanti loke nada anusandhana samadhi mekam manyamahe manyatamam layanam among all those laya technique laya means absorption techniques which lead to samadhi there are 1.25 lakhs of those techniques of which i consider dhan shankaracharya say i consider this nada anusandhana samadhi samadhi achieved through nada anusandhana that is nada brahma it is called it is a anahata nada which comes from anath chakra when the kundalini is awakened and reaches anath chakra so that method of samadhi is considered as the greatest i need to mention here that our swami ji swami shilanand bharti belonging to the bade duniwala sanstan of kandwa who was here in hyderabad for a long time i am his disciple i have learned pranayama from him and at one stage of pranayama they get kampanam thanam and they also get the nada anusandhanam and samadhi after that he is an expert in all that i have seen him teaching to others and he taught me partly and i was about to reach samadhi but then i was asked to become a monk sanyasi and since i was my mother was not giving permission i had to give up i was close to samadhi i experienced part of it but not fully samadhi in that sense means they bury you underground for 10 days 
and no breathing will be there, but heart will also be not there, but your brain will be alive and you come back. So for doing such a samadhi, we require only sannyasis to do it. Uh, there is no bondage and no obligation. So, Sarecha Purai Ranilasya Kumbhai Sarvasuradi Subishodhitas Anahatadam Buruhadu Deti Swatma Vagamya Swayameva Bhotaha Sarecha Purai Rechakam Purakam Rechakam means exhalation, Purakam means inhalation and Kumbhakam means retention. Sarecha Purai Anilasya Kumbhai Sarvasuradi Subishodhitasu so by the practice of pranayama, all the 72,000 nadis are purified. Ana, then, anahata damburu haadudeti, if the prana shakti in the form of kundalini is awakened at the anahata chakra, is at the heart chakra. Then, swatma vagamya swayameva bodhaha, automatically self-realization happens. Adanu Sandhana Namostu Deshuham Tam Vavana Tatta Padasyajare Bhavat Prasadat Pavane Napakam Vili Sakam Piliyate Vishnu Pade Manohi. O Nada Brahmastiti, that is, he is addressing the Nadanu Sandhanam. Of course, people like Tyagaraja also got the Nadanu Sandhanam into the path of music, but this is the path of yoga, and this is different from music. Music automatically gets generated in this process, but there they practice music for many decades. Now, Jalan, so he has just given his respect to the Radhanu Sandhana method, where the Samadhi is achieved. Then, Jalan Dharodhyana Namola Bandhai, Jalpanti Kantho Dharapayi Mulan, Bandhatrayas, Pin Parichi Yavane, Bandhakdo Darunakala Pashat. Just now I showed you the three bandhas, Jalandhar Udhyana and Amola Bandha. Jalandhar Udhyana and Amola Bandha, Jalpanti Kantha Udhara Payu Mulan. Kantha Udhara and Payu. Bandhatrayas Vin Parichiyamane, Bandhakudo Daruna Kala Pasha. If you are well comfortably familiarized with this three bandhas and their combination Mahabandha, where is your Kala Bandha? That means you can overcome old age and death to good extent. Audhyana na jalandhara mula bandhai runnidhritaya muraganganaya prachak mukatva pravishan mukatva gavagame munchati gandhava. Kullarini shakti awakened by the three bandhas will go through the various chakras and reach the sahasrara for the samadhi. Udhya Uttapita dhara hutasha nokai akunjane shashvada pana vayo santapata chandravasa palantim piyu shataram pipati hatatya. So there is a amrutam which is coming from the top of the parrot. When the tongue is kept upwards in Kachari mudra, that amrutam will fall onto the tongue and to the throat and you will become immortal. That is what he is saying. The Kechari Mudra, which is actually uh, very difficult, but in a shortcut form, it is just keeping the tongue upside, touching the holes of the nose inside the mouth on the palate. So you always can keep like that and breathe like that. Your breathing levels will be higher, oxygen levels will be higher. Bandhatraya Bhyasi Vinasa Jatayam Vivajitam Rechakapura Kabhyam Vishodayam Deem Vishaya Pravaham Vidyam Bhaje Kevala Kumbharupa. So Kevala Kumbha is being uh, described here and uh, adored. Kevala Kumbha is a state where the breath stops automatically without your effort to stop it. In Sahita Kumbhaka, you will be performing retention on your own, Puraka Rechaka Kumbhaka. But in advanced level, after practicing the Sahita Kumbhaka for many stages of practice, which I went through in my younger days, finally it will reach a stage where the breath will stop automatically and the tongue will go upwards and the eyes will go upwards and you go into trance. And that is Samadhi, that is what he is describing. Anahate chetasi savadhanai rabhyasa surai arhuyamara. Santa. 
संस्तंभित श्वास मन प्रचारा साभते केवल कुंभक श्री the glory of keval kumbhaka associated with the absorption of the mind and the breath stopping and it is reached through the bandha bola bandha jana bandha and jarandra bandha combination maha bandha and the anahata chakra is activated that is how the nada anusandhana nada brahma level comes सहस्रशंतिहटेशुसुंभा When he says Sahasrasa Kumbha, that means we are talking of various ratios, as Patanjali said, Yashaka, Dirgha, Sukshma, different uh, points of concentration, different ratios at different times of duration, and short and long, etc. That is the he is referring here as Sahasrasa Sante Kuthe Ateesha Kumbha, Sambhavyate Kevala Kumbha Eva, Bhottame Yatra Tarecha Puro, Pranasya Na Prakrta Vaikrta Akhyo. So the Recha Pura both are arrested, and then deep absorption onto Samadhi. Trikota nam nistimite antarange kestam vite kevana kumbha kecha prana nilo manushi shankana dyo vihaya satyo prayati. Prachahrata kevana kumbha kena pravudha kundal yuva bhukta sesha prana pratiche na pathe na mandha viliyate vishnupade antarange. It is explaining very advanced stages, which I do not want to describe in detail. It's not possible to understand. Nirankushanam shasanodhamanam nirodhanai kevalakum bhagachai udeti sarvendriya vritti sunyo varunaya kovi mahamati na. What can be greater state for the mahamatis that the great people, great yogis, who have conquered? The breathing process, which is nirankusha, nobody can stop inhalation, exhalation. But in this kevala kumbha, it is automatically stop. And accordingly, udeti sarvendriya vritti sunya, total blankness, total stoppage of all activities of the senses and the mind, the physiological activities and the neurological or any other. Type of activity is arrested, and the person goes into deep trance of samadhi. And in that stage, na drishti lakshya ni na chitta bandho na desha kalo na chavayu bodha na dharana dha na parishtamo va samayathamane sati raja yoga. That is the royal yoga are reached in that stage of samadhi. Are having reached which there is no need for any concentration meditation. Uh, fixation and pranayama, all those stages have already been crossed. Asyesha drishtojita drudhya nam avasthita nam hiraja yoga na jagaro na pisu shukti bhavo. No jivitam, no varanam vichitra. What is that stage of samadhi? It is not awakened state, it is not dream state, it is not sleep state, it is not even living state, nor it is death. It is unique state. In fact, they have defined, redefined the definition of death after seeing the underground samadhi by Atayogis, because the heart is stopped already, but man is not dead. He will come back after some time. His brain is active. So they redefined death. That death is only when the brain is dead, not when the heart. Aham mamatva divihaya sarvam sri raja yoga stiramasa nam. श्रीराज योगे स्थिर दृष्टता 
नेत्रेयोन्मेश निमेश शून्य वायुर्जयावंचित मेच पूर मन संकल्प विकल्प शून्य मनोन्मनी सा मई सन्निधत्ता सो दट मनोन्मनी स्थिति वे दईस डू नॉट फिकर अप एंड डाउन नेत्रेयोन्मेश नमेश शून्य वायुर्जयावर्जित मेच पूर एंड ब्रीदिंग स्टॉप एंड the mind of course stop manascha sankalpa vikalpa shunyam manonmanim sa mai sannidhatta that manonmani sthiti may i be in it chittendriyanam chiranigrahena swasa prachare kurpe avindra nivata deepayu nishranga manonmanim agradhyo bhavat so this mahayogis will be in manonmani sthiti in samadhi all the time absorbed This is a very uh, small text, only thirty slokas, uh, and unmanyavastha dhigamaya vidvanu paya megam tavaye dishava pasanna dasi na taya prabandham sankalpa mundule ya savatan. Oh my friend, to reach that unmani sthiti, unmani means transcendent mind. To reach that unmani sthiti, I'll give you a solution. Look at the. Maybe his net connection has gone. Just bear in for a few minutes. He'll come back. Hello. There will be examination on twenty seventh, sir. I inform the lecturer. Ah, uh, please. Uh, after the class, please. Yeah, he has come back. So let's have his class. So let me complete this text. Yeah. Not correct to give in between. Prasakya sankalpa param paranam sanchedane santata savadhanam alam banasha apachi yamaram shanei shanei shantam upai diche taha. So the process of calming the mind is explained. Nishwasa lo pain nivrtai shadi rai rakun chalai. Yashka dapana vayo santa pita chandra masat padan tim pi. Avyak bhavan tim amanas kamudram alokayamo muni pungavana. So we are able to see the yogis. I mean, at his time, it was very common thing that yogis were found in samadhi state. Nowadays you cannot find them; it's very rare. Ami ami indra sahaja manaskar ham manasve sidhla yamani manogati marta vatti sunyam darshanti bha karchanti bhavam dagana avasevisham. So the ami indras, the yogis, top yogis, they reach the stage and they get liberated. Pravartayantim nikhilendri nivartayantim nikhilendri ani pravartayantim paramatma yogam. So when all the senses have stopped functioning, they have gone inward, and the Paramatma Yogam, the Samsparsham, Brahma Samsparsham, is touching the Supreme Being in the Samadhi stage. Sam Samvin Bhayim Tam Sahaja Avastha. Sahaja Avastha. It is called Sahaja Avastha, natural state of existence. Samvin Bhayi. That is full of. Yana samvit means yana supreme yana. Kada gamishya mi gata nya bhava. When will I be in it? Forgetting everything else, he is uh, fantasizing that. That means he was at that point of time not in it, but he obviously experienced it some other time. Prachak vimarshyat se na pumsam prachi na sangeshu palayateshu. 
प्रादुर्भवेत काचिद अजाज्य निद्रा प्रपंचवाना परवर्जयती विच्छिन्न संकल्प विकल्प मूले निशेष निर्मूलित कर्म जाले निरंतराभ्यास नितांत भद्रा सा जृंभते योगिनी योग निद्रा विश्रांति मसाध्य तुरीय तल्पे विश्वाद्यवस्था तृतयोपवस्थे रीचिंग द तुरीय स्टेज Now somebody asked a question in the uh, Mandukya Upanishad. What is Turiya? Here it is given. This Turiya is nothing but the Samadhi stage. Vishranti masa the Turiya kal kalpe. Vishwad javastha trithayo paristhe. Having transcended the three Vish Vishwasatay jasa prajnis are given in the Mandukya Upanishad. Samin mayim kamani sarva kalam nidam bhaje nirvishan nirvikal pam nirvikal pa samadhi. प्रकाशमाने परमात्म भानो समस्ते सो व्हेन दि परमात्मा इज एक्सपीरियंस्ड इन दट ब्रिलियंट लाइट ऑल दि इग्नोरेन्स डार्कनेस विल डिसअपियर अहो बुधा निर्मल दृष्ट किंचिन्न पश्य जगत समग्र दो दे हैव क्लियर आई सेट दे कैन नॉट सी दि होल यूनिवर्स दे सी ओनली दि परमात्मा सिद्धि तथा विधान सिद्धि तथा विधम मनो निलयाम समाधो हैविंग अचीव्ड दैट सिद्धि ऑफ अब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ बोथ माइंड एंड द ब्रेथ श्रीशैल श्रृंग कुहरेश कदो पलप्से ही इज रेफरिंग टू श्रीशैल गुहास व्हेन विल आई गिव अप एवरीथिंग एंड बी टेकिंग रेस्ट इन दैट स्टेज गात्रम यदा मम लता परिवेष्टयन्ति व्हेन ऑल द हर्ब्स विल बी ग्रोइंग ऑन माय बॉडी लाइक वाल्मीकि कंठे यदा विचंचित खगाश्च नीढान एंड ऑल द बर्ड्स विल स्टार्ट स्टेइंग ऑन माय बॉडी विचरतु मतिरेशा एंड सो ही इज कंक्लूडिंग नाउ सेइंग इवन दो माय माइंड मे गो एनीवेयर विचरतु मतिरेशा निर्विकल्पे समाधो इ मे बी इन समाधि और इट मे बी वांडरिंग हियर एंड देयर चरति मतिकत दोषान माम विभुम न स्पृशन्ति व्हाट एवर द माइंड डस आई एम नॉट अफेक्टेड the doshas of the mind will not be touching me brahmarandra gate vayu vire prasravanam bhave brahmarandra is here when the vayu goes here there will be a sound experienced shrunoti shravanatitam nadam muktir na samshaya then that sound which you hear is an indication that you are liberated so this i have finished the yoga taravadi i want to close the session now and you continue with your discussion bye there are uh, two questions on the chat box uh i think he is not there okay uh so the two questions on the chat box will uh, answer it later uh, any other questions uh, you have Uh, not on this subject of what our today it has been said. Those questions you can put it on the WhatsApp. Then the same will be answered later. So, yeah. Any general discuss uh, topic questions that you have, you can now raise it. It's open. somebody was asking us a question in between regarding exams sir earlier it was informed that the 26th was the last day of the third month and then 27th exams will be conducted right go ahead. regarding that i was putting a question sir just to get clarification from you sir Yeah, yesterday also the same thing was clarified. Tomorrow will be the uh, almost the last class. Today is twenty fifth. Tomorrow is twenty sixth. Twenty seventh is the exam, and twenty eighth, which was supposed to be the valedictory, is postponed to thirtieth. so 28th also you will have a class okay that is a different i mean 28th is an extra class on bhagavad gita only or i don't know the exact topics 
but it will be there. But exam will be on 27th. This has been clarified yesterday also. So don't have any confusions on this. Tomorrow also there will be a class or it will be notified. And if there is a change, it will be notified in the WhatsApp. Okay. So hope your question is answered. Thank you, sir. Okay. So any other uh, question? Uh, I think yesterday uh, it was notified in the group that uh, everyone is supposed to uh, send their audio on the Pradhana, uh, what is done in the start and the end. Both the Pradhanas are to be sent to Colonel Babugaru uh, on and then uh, he, that, that is also part of this learning because all these lokas that have been written are specific to the course and also the well-being of everyone individual every for every day not only this class so it has been designed in such a way that this pradhana will guide you all and uh, get the blessings of the almighty so try to learn these lokas i think by if you have been chanting every day along with the uh, pradhana every that is happening every day you would have got it by heart by now so try to send your audio to kalnal bhagwar so that is what is and also try to understand the meaning uh, Krishna Bhamdi Bhadgar, you can... Sir, sir, if you have the meaning of this Pradhana, you can cover the class in the class. It's not that you can do it. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah, it's not that you can do it. We'll try to uh, fix that. And uh, we'll let you know the meanings also. And uh, basically, first of all, are you all... I mean, Miru, for example, Krishna Bhavadu Gautagar, are you now conversant with the Pradhana and you can do the Pradhana? Very much. Right. I have Very even nice. sent an audio and I did one once in the evening class also. Very nice. Bhavadu nice. gave, gave me an opportunity. I could yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Thank you. But this is what... Ardham Telskun Jeste, then you can tell the Pradhana. That's always there that you should know the meaning. But, but if you just see the Pradhana itself, you can understand the meanings. Right. You, you, you need not have any extra. Extra things are always there. But if you just close your eyes, do the Pradhana one by one, one first is the always you pray Ganapati. Yeah. Okay. Then you because this is a class and we are studying, we are doing a pradhana for Lord uh, Goddess Saraswati. And then we are going to Shankaracharya and his preachings. Of course, that there's a, there's a meaning over there uh, that is to be learned, understood. But otherwise, so the sequence you can understand, we are trying to seek the blessings of all the people uh, starting from Ganapati, Saraswati, Shankaracharya, who has given the preachings of Sanatana Dharma. Then we go for Asatama Sargamaya, which is, I think, uh, explained in the class in one of the courses by Dr. C. S. Prabhugaru. So this is, and then Matru Deva, Pitru Deva, Bhava. So these are all known. Then you go to Sruti Smriti Purananam at the end of the Pradhana. So we all try to understand all these things. Yes, but at the same time, as you said, we will definitely uh, put it across to Dr. Prabhugaru to give the meaning of this Pradhana where, where there are some critical ones so, so that uh, people can understand it and do the Pradhana well. Yeah. Dhanyavada. Thank you, sir. Murti Garu? <clears throat> sir, I have a second march in the audio of Kalnar Babu Garu. Okay. 
సో మళ్ళీ పంపించాలంటారా లేదు లేదు వన్స్ ఇఫ్ యు హావ్ సెంట్ ఇట్ యు ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ देयर సెంట్ నేను పంపించాను ఆయన అన్నారు కొంచెం స్లోగా చెప్పండి అని అన్నారు అక్కడ ఉంటుంది అది కామెంట్ రైట్ రైట్ దట్స్ ఇట్ వన్స్ యు హావ్ సెంట్ ఇట్ ఇట్ హస్ బీన్ రికార్డెడ్ అండ్ యు హావ్ బీన్ టోల్డ్ అబౌట్ వేర్ టు ఇంప్రూవ్ yes sir yeah that's it అంటే కంఠస్థం అయితే రాదు కానీ బట్ మేజర్ పోర్షన్ నాకు ఐడియా ఉంది ఐ కెన్ రీడ్ అవుట్ అనమాట చూస్తే ఒకసారి వచ్చేస్తుంది క్లోజ్ యువర్ ఐస్ అండ్ డూ ది ప్రార్థన సీక్వెన్షియల్లీ స్లోలీ యూ డూ ఇట్ శ్లోక బై శ్లోక యు డూ ఇట్ and you will enjoy the prarthana and put it into practice every day when you yes. take bath and go to the to do the prayers you do the prayers and uh, yes. seek the blessings so that is yes. what it is meant for so kindly Sir. this is why we are insisting on this prayer earlier we didn't do it uh, but this time we wanted everyone to learn because we felt that we are uh, doing it in a mechanical way no it's not a mechanical way we expected everyone to do the prarthana along with the daily prarthana that has been that is being done but then we wanted to check whether everybody is doing or not so that is the special effort being done don't worry about the uh, what do you say the people are mistaking it uh, to uh, singing no it is not singing it is recitation of the shlokas it is recitation is different from singing so you don't try to sing these shlokas shlokas are meant to be re- recited with full devotion and mind on the goddess that we are trying to read out or pray so have that in mind and have a peaceful mind while you do this recitation and enjoy this recitation of the shlokas once you do that slowly and slowly you will understand the meaning you can understand the happiness that you get through the rendering of the shlokas yeah right uh, ashok gar Uh, your voice is not coming properly please uchcharan uh, ah me voice break out on the i'm uchcharana gurinchi ardham ayindi uchcharana ah me voice break out on the anyway we cheppedi entante uchcharana that is the how to render it so if you want to know how to render it you listen to the any of the video recording and then the daily prarthana will give you the way it has to be rendered so keep listening it just like you keep listening to any of the songs and then try to learn it automatically gets into your mind do the same with the shlokas with a closed eyes focused on the rendering of the shlokas try to listen the audio record video recording and don't see the video try to close your eyes and hear it and then try to render yourself then that is then you will get yeah చెప్పండి ఓకే హోప్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ బికాస్ ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ అబుల్ టు హియర్ యూ బికాస్ యువర్ వాయిస్ ఇస్ బ్రేకింగ్ సో డూ దిస్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ యా ఎనీ వన్ ఎల్స్ స్వామి గారు యూ వాంట్ ఎస్ సార్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఆస్క్ అబౌట్ దిస్ కంటెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కవరేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జామ్ యాక్చువల్లీ దేర్ ఆర్ 
two books one is the sukshma vyayama other is an asanas and then there are two types of notes uh, the second part of notes is uh, yet to be touched i believe science of yoga history development of yoga and all that uh, there is very uh, uh, <coughs> uh, profound notes on it and uh, are we are we supposed to cover both the sets of notes for this examination along with sukshma vyayama and asanas and all uh, it becomes too much otherwise sukshma vyayama i mean first yeah. of all try to understand whatever has been taught in the class hmm. is to be uh, will is the basis for the exam number 1 okay. number 2 regard yeah. sukshma vyayama has been taught to you hmm. though yes, there are around 52 asanas uh, in sukshma vyayama maybe you will find it difficult to understand everything and remember everything try to go go through the book and remember as done in the practical class okay, okay. that's okay. regarding sukshma vyayama regarding theory yes sir. there is a particular notes that has been uh, followed in the class so that is the book to be followed that is yeah. the notes that to be followed okay okay because there are two say, yeah, yeah, sets know, of notes given and right. uh, uh, prabhu sir has mentioned that during his speech somewhere that uh, this was actually meant for uh, advanced higher, uh, classes advanced classes right, right. so i was so, concerned actually whether i have to cover about the notes no, no, then it no, will no, be very uh, no, it has no. to be monumental effort to go through and absorb yeah, the yeah. information there right right yeah so for follow the uh, uh video recordings of the class so not, not all... no no i'll tell you the, whatever theory has been done in the class the notes that particular notes book okay you follow and uh, it is i think from unit 1 to unit 5 or numbers numbers i don't remember so those units you follow and it is not voluminous that okay. if you want that book not, whatever he has covered uh, right uh, on video that that i know and there are about eight videos which were shared on whatsapp uh, mm-hmm. and, i mean uh, different lecture series and this notes only so right. those are to be followed and then we have to remember those i, I believe exactly i mean these videos were ma- meant the extra videos that uh, dr prabhu garu has made made is essentially to make those notes into a video form yeah that's what i have observed actually these right. are covering notes only there were eight videos or so i think uh, right. those are to be followed so that right. we get uh, nuggets of information whatever we note down from there that right. can be uh, <clears throat> absorbed so that we can attend uh, the exam with right. confidence so yeah. otherwise uh, <laughs> yeah that, that's right when the, so uh, don't get too much worried on the exam part yes exam is an exam <laughs> I, i i i am on the other side so i can say so many things but you on the receiving end you i know what you no, I, know, I, i know sir yesterday I, you were triggering as fe- yeah. exam fever <laughs> yeah yeah okay. so uh, that is there so but then uh, the main thing is that uh, read the uh, notes or whatever that has been said in the class with a right if you just sit and read with concentration i think you will go- complete the book or the notes within an hour or two <laughs> not more than that but then retention is the problem right yeah retention don't worry is the <laughs> that yes. is a major problem sir right that's the reason it has to be read with with devotion and mm. concentration once you do that no disturbance <laughs> then you will and because you have to correlate with what has been said in the class you keep uh, that in mind you and your notes is also there by your side whatever small points that you have noted down all this put together will make a fresh impact or retention in the brain don't worry about how much you are going to retain in the brain no don't worry about it it will be there you will the because it's all a multiple choice question uh, this yeah, thing that, that, that so you will get 
Yes. Yeah. So once yeah, you man. read the notes within for within two hours time, you put a stipulated time and read it. You will achieve it. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, Murti Garu. Yeah. Namaskar. Yeah, Namaskar, yeah. Babgaru. Namaskar. No, silly, silly question. Next to that, I mean, any other Bhavik. Ipro. Na ko. Ante ye. Any replacement jariyengi. So ipro exam, puri practical exam lo. Ellundi. Pan ki. Ante ok particular asram way mante ne ne way le ne mo na ne example. Bhujang asram o, Mayur asram o, way mante ne ne way le ne kada. So yeah. then so, how do you rate me? Right, right, right. So your question is valid. Uh, the question, though, though it is in Telugu, I'll read it, uh, say it out. No, well, I can speak in English. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm, yeah. Let me let me reply. Let me reply. Okay, okay, right, right. The practical exam will be in a way that you can do the asana. For example, asana is being said, asked to be done. And you have a particular inconvenience, so you have to immediately tell that you have this inconvenience. Okay, excellent. So excellent. immediately, uh, no disturbance, please. No disturbance, please. I think you mute your uh, mic. Mute your mics. Yeah. So uh, immediately, you please tell. Don't. See, basically, try to understand. Yoga is to be done in sukhasana. That is, you have to be in a very comfortable position, and never try to uh, force yourself in doing anything. Of course, force is a thing that there. There is a slight difference between using or straining slightly yourself in doing a particular exercise. Otherwise, you will not do the exercise. So. and straining more no don't force yourself don't strain your particular part because the, we, we are just in the start not in the start we are standing in the line of learning yoga only theory or even the practical as a theory part has been told to you you are supposed to practice this to really do the asana so we don't expect you to be professionals in doing a particular asana first of all you should know whether for example a sirsha asana is supposed to be done or asked you should know that uh, sir uh, i i i can't uh, do that uh, sirsha asana i can do bhujang asana because which is slightly better or comfortable then it is understood that you know the difficulty of sirshasana you know what it is so here the uh, the examiner is trying to know whether you know it or not whether you do it can do it or not is the second point first of all you should know it so try to be comfortable don't worry about the exam the practical exam Wherein you can't do any asana, you have to openly say that you have a particular problem, and so you can't do that particular asana. Then an alternative will be given to you. But all said and done, the practical exam will be to test you whether you know the asana or not, because you, we are all, even including me, I am not a professional. in yoga exercises definitely i have i have been doing so i know how to do particular asana but i may not be a professional to become a professional i have to do it daily and for a length of time then i can do certain asanas okay so hope your question is answered the murti garu okay sir thanks welcome sir okay uh, saugandhi Namaste. Uh, can you please reshare? He referred to two sets of notes, is which is other than the sukshma vyayama and the asanas. Is there a? I searched through the chat. I couldn't find if it is possible to reshare the two sets of notes he was referring to. So the class, uh, the yoga class has almost come to an end. 
okay. and uh, it is surprising that we have been sharing this particular notes many times other in the than, WhatsApp group. No, no, please, please, than... please, please, please try to understand. We have been sharing these notes uh, absolutely in the start, before the start of yoga, we have shared the notes so that people uh, are aware that these are the books to be followed. One is the Sukshma Vyayama and the other notes. There are two parts in the notes. Okay. Now, one notes which has been followed and through which he has been reading out in the class. Do you know that notes or not? Uh, if it's a Sukshma Vyayama and the second, first part one and part two, that I have read it. Is it so, anything other than that? Whatever, just now I explained everything, that is whatever has been told in the class. Sukshma Vyayama or the theory, theory he has been reading out through a particular book. And he has been saying unit one, unit two, or whatever he has been referring and then started reading. So though that is the notes to be followed. Okay. And if, for example, uh, you still want uh, this notes to be shared, okay. first of all, I can share it. It's not a problem that uh, I can share it. But after the almost com coming to a close of the class, you are asking which is the notes. You are supposed to, in fact, have the notes in front of you where the class is happening so that you can follow it. Just like open your textbooks. That was the standard line in the uh, childhood. Open your textbooks so that you know which book to be followed. Anyway. Uh, okay. So I will, I'll share it uh, in the group, which are the books. And then there are two books. He has already said there are the no notes that he has made is not only meant, it is meant for advanced level also. So you have to segregate yourself in for seeing the video recordings and then following the notes. Because the, if you just now uh, somebody was asking which is the uh, notes to be followed, uh, then it is voluminous. As Swami Garu was asking. So the same thing was answered. Okay, please. Okay, anything, anyone else? And again, a reminder that uh, those of you who have not given the uh, Pradhana recordings, may please send the audio recording to Kalnal Babagaru. This is not meant for uh, anything else, but to know whether everybody is following the Pradhana or not. They should be following it. They should be rendering it every day. Yeah, Charin Jeevigaru. Uh, will there be a theory uh, exam also after uh, practical uh, yoga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. Yoga is uh, theory and practical. That's what uh, was being asked and it is being said, isn't it? You will be asked okay. the asana to be done. Okay. You should show the asana. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Babgar. Yeah. Uh, sir, this uh, recording of that uh, Pratana and uh, Swasti Vakya, those yeah. uh, can be sent later after the exam because uh, we need to remain. But whatever effort we make in that direction, it has to be a focused one. Uh, I would yeah. like to do it later after the exam. Right, right. Okay, you can do it 20, after 27th, immediately yeah. after the exam, you do it. Right, right. right. That, that's right. what I want. Thank but you. then the whole issue is that people tend to forget the moment the exam is over, Ram, 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 Ram. <laughs> so that is the... See, we try to understand, we are going to evaluate everything. Sir, you, then you continue for our lifelong classes. Then we, <laughs> we are there. The Sanatana Dharma is going to... It will not stop. It will keep going on. I, it has to go on, sir. There is no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For our survival, it is important. Yes, <laughs> yes. 
no problem it will be going on but only thing you whether you will be there and that <laughs> that, that no guarantee about that but uh, as long as uh, we are capable of uh, speaking and attending class we will continue yeah, yeah. <laughs> most welcome it was a great expert actually a very noble and monumental expert yeah. right station may come and station may go but ah. the train continues to go yes yes for man may come and man may go but i go on forever mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Or uh, we go for pravdana. Sir, actually, the practical pro pra- practicals me the bhai me attende. Arozu Prabhu garu oke thanna ru. A statement to kunchon fearful ga under matra. No 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 no. I will ask you one yoga exercise. You have to do it. Otherwise, you will fail. Do it. Do it. Okay. If you do it, you are fail. Ara under matra. Andu pasori. See. A sense, a, a, a sense of fear has to be driven. Otherwise, you will not get sharper. Normally, it's a tendency. The brain gets more sharpened when it is in, when you are in front of the exam. Uh, otherwise, you may be preparing so well, but uh, you may not be remembering. You may tend to forget, and so many things do happen. Unless until the systematic study, you know that that's a totally different thing. But in in general, a person uh, tries to does not make a serious effort to think whether it has been retained or not. But then in front of the exam, the brain gets sharpened, and uh, you tend to remember everything. Uh, just like you sit in a car driving, and you are sleepy normally. the moment you are in the on the steering wheel you are alert so same thing happens here also so don't worry yeah. about those things so yeah. keep preparing and keep reading yeah, the sure. books yeah thank you yeah and now we go for uh, prarthana uh, satyagar okay 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 thank <laughs> you स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य पिपालयता मगेण मही महेशा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त निोका समस्ता सुखिनो काले वर्ष तो पर्जन्य पृथ्वी सस्य सालिनी तेजो यम क्षोभरि ब्राह्मण सन्त निर्भया अपुत्र पुत्रिण सन्त पुत्रिण सन्त पौत्रिण अधना सधना सन्त जीवन तो शरदा शत सत्य वद धर्म चरा स्वाध्यान्मा प्रमद सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुख बाग्भवे ओं शाति 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 पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 सर्वे जना सुखिनो भवन्तु लोका समस्ता सुखिनो भवन्तु स्वस्ति now let us all stand for janaganamana janaganamana adhinayaka jayahe bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindhu gujarat maratha dravida utkala banga vindya himachal yamuna ganga उच्छल जलधित रंग तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे 
जय हिंद जय हिंद we can leave now uh just